Hi guys, so after doing my MGTOW video, I figured we'd talk about hypergamy? Hypergamy is defined by dictionary.com as marriage into an equal or higher caste or social group. So that being the case, you will often see MGTOW guys talk about hypergamy, hypergamy, uh... Hypergamy. Let's go with that. So now I understood this idea from reading history. People were often married off for money uh, or monarchy, and it was everyone. It didn't matter, uh, men, women, children, it didn't matter as long as there was a way to make things better for someone or everyone in the family. <clears throat> Uh, as we just read, though, that's what hypergamy is. Like, um, what's happening now is some sort of weird hypergamy offshoot or something. I don't know what it is. Uh, what people do seem to be talking about now is the tendency of women to leave someone they like or they're with and they have some sort of sexual relationship with for someone who looks better or has more money. Now, that's just insane. Um, <clears throat> I don't believe in that. Obviously, I'm a Christian. I believe you need to find someone to marry based on the Christian values that you have. It really doesn't have anything to do with money, and it doesn't really have anything to do with looks. It has to do with uh, your values and how well you two are going to work together for God. So if you're not going to work well together for God, don't be together. If, you're, if your main thing is to live for yourself, it doesn't matter who you get, whether they're pretty or they have money, it ain't going to work. So it's just stupid. Like, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand why women are like this uh, myself. So I just assume it's horrible upbringing. <laughs> so, you know. Even before I was a Christian, my ideal life was to find a man who I could work together with to better us both. So what women are doing now is an abuse of the idea of hypergamy instead of what it should be, which is the betterment of everyone. So what my dad taught me was basically this. Every generation should make the next generation better. So, for example, if your parents make $25,000 a year, then ideally you would make $30,000 and your kids more than that. It also wasn't limited to money. He said that all of your knowledge should be passed down to the next generation so that they don't make the same mistakes you made and so that they learn and they are able to do better in their own lives and up and up like that. So my dad taught me hypergamy, just not whatever weird abuse of version of women are practicing now. <laughs> so the Bible says it like this in Deuteronomy 4, 9. Only give heed to yourself and keep your soul diligently so that you do not forget the things which your eyes have seen and they do not depart from your heart all the days of your life. But make them known to your sons and your grandsons. Also Deuteronomy eleven nineteen, talking about the morals of God, it says, teach them to your children Talk about them where you are at home and when you are on the road, when you are going to bed and when you are getting up. Basically, do better, be better, and create a better future by doing so. Not by doing what your parents did or jumping from man to man, but by learning what our parents did and doing better. Like learning from their mistakes and taking the good things that worked really well and applying those and doing those even better. By having lifetime marriages that build and develop each other together and honor God, we can do this. So a lifetime of development guided by knowledge and hard work and God is the ideal for a Christian person. So that's all I've got for you guys today. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section and let's talk. Until next time, guys, remember to read your Bible and pray, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.